What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Lou. It's about eight hours too late to this news, but here I am. It is what it is. I like to talk about this stuff, so I'm going to do it. You can click off if you so choose. Shout out to Jason Tatum over here, chonking up the deucins, Houston style, with a little cut under his eye. No, not the Houston as in the singer of the mega hit. I like that Houston as in the city. Shout out to all six people who remember I Like That by Houston that came out in like 05, I think. Classic. Pretty sure he smoked PCP and clawed out his own eye, which is also very interesting. I wonder how he's doing. Hopefully he's doing well. Season 6, Zero Gravity has taken on an intergalactic journey through the cosmos, pitting you against otherworldly stars for dazzling new rewards. 2K, who's writing these? I promise. I've been saying it. I say it every courtside report, but I'll do just as good of a job for half the price. I promise I will. I am pimping myself out right now. Let me get in there. Let me start writing some courtside reports. I promise I'll do it for like a hundred bucks. Okay. I know you're paying this dude way higher in salary for sure. They're probably just making an intern do it realistically. They're probably not actually paying anything. So <laughs> half of zero is zero. Anyways, I'm not going to cover all new my career updates because I really just don't care. There's a bunny suit in the mix. There's like a lightning BMX. Um, it's like God themed or whatever, like Olympus themed, which like, I mean, that's cool, I guess. Like there's like power up. There's some other godly apparel rewards and stuff. I mean, do you really care? This is not exactly a park channel. I haven't even played park in. Yeah, I legitimately think the last time I played my career was 2K17. Whenever Michael B. Jordan was in there, whenever my boy Wallace from The Wire was in there, that's the last time I played it. All new My Team updates. Are you ready for zero gravity in My Team? Sure. Of course. With 99 overall Dark Matter reward cards spreading throughout the modes, there are great ways for new and existing My Team players to upgrade their best lineups. Besides spending money, but realistically, I mean, spending money doesn't even give you that much of an advantage this year because back odds are literally so horrible. Um... The people with the biggest advantages are the people who just buy MT at this point. All year, my team has brought what is going on in the real NBA into NBA 2K22 with moments, player cards, and agendas. Now, I was talking about this before. Um, I expected them to stop doing moments of the month at some point. I just didn't know why or how they were going to do that. And it looks like they're just transitioning that into a moments of like the week playoff system. Which is interesting. It starts when the play-in tournament begins. So April 12th, right? I believe. Um, which is cool. You got to get John Morant before then, but he'll be outdated in like two weeks after these drops. So it doesn't really matter. For the 2022 NBA playoffs, my team will be following the action with new lifetime agenda groups for each round. Uh, I don't like the word agenda in there. I'll be honest. I just want like an offline grind for once. I know I'm going to have to play like 46 triple threat online games and score like a bunch of points with like Goldianis or something and triple threat online and i'm like not stoked about it maybe i'm being negative maybe it'll be different than what i think it's going to be but 2k hasn't exactly given me a uh, bout of confidence realistically after the conclusion of the playing tournament and the subsequent rounds the agenda group will be completed with moments cards for all teams moving on to the playoffs that's cool also, starting next week, 25 new reward players will begin dropping in my team. On Monday, April 11th, get started with a 74 overall gold Giannis. Okay. All right. So, I mean, if they're going to be dropping gold, emerald, sapphire cards, these cards are going to be beasts for, like, triple threat offline and limited and stuff. So, it's definitely worth picking these guys up. Like, is 74 overall gold Giannis going to be tight? No, but he'll probably have, like, 18 gold badges and be, like, a super fire like gold power forward so i'm gonna pick him up i'm not making this mistake again I'm, i missed out on joe keem and kispert twice and bones highland i'm not doing it again no all right anyways but the finals mvp's rookie card is required to get you started on this five week journey interesting after you honest a new card will drop in my team every weekday huge to earn it you will need to complete an agenda using the previous day's card i told you with each card increasing in overall rating as you go, earn new and familiar names included in the cards for Lonzo, Shaq, Luca, Devin Booker, and making his 2K22 my team debut, Smush Parker. I personally think that's cool, but they really they really like drug out the red carpet for Smush Parker. They're like making his 2K22 my team debut. I'm like, ooh, who's it gonna be? Smush Parker. 
Now, that being said, Lonzo might be a higher overall card, possibly. Um, I would say 0% chance Shaq, Luka, and Devin Booker are higher overall cards. I would be willing to say that those guys are going to be Sapphire or below for sure. Those are money cards for 2K. Devin Booker, not so much, but Luka and Shaq, yeah, those are money cards. Smush Parker, yeah, he'll be a reward, and he'll probably be the higher reward. And if he's got Kobe base, I mean, he'll be pretty fun. I wish they would have released him earlier, but I'll still use him. With this event ending with a 99 overall Dark Matter card. Okay. You will not want to get too far behind earning these players. Each day's agenda will be easy, but some of these players will be powerful additions to many my team lineups. So they're basically just saying like, yo, you're going to want to get these cards because we're going to go ahead and make limited requirements that uh, require some of these guys. So interesting. I mean, I like the idea. I just don't like how they're doing it already. Um, you know, it looks like they're tier locked. So what I mean by that is come Monday the 11th, we get the gold Giannis, right? Whatever his agenda is, come Tuesday when we get, you know, the Emerald or other gold card or whatever, um, I would assume that they're going to do it like every couple days the gem tier will go up or whatever, right? Or the overall will go up. If you don't do the Giannis challenges, you can't get the new cards and that stacks. So if there's ever a really annoying challenge that's going to pop up, like, for instance, you use gold Giannis and score like 30 points in TTO or something, it's going to be rough, dude. But I'm going to do it, even though the 99 overall Dark Matter card will probably be outdated two weeks into Season 7. It is what it is. So, oh yes, for all my super all-money spent guys, Invincible Dirk Nowitzki will now be available come Friday, which is very unfortunate. I don't like that. That being said... Couldn't tell you how good Dirk is going to be. Like, I don't know. Also, at 4,000 cards, people get every Hall of Fame badge in the game, uh, which is severely going to decrease the amount. I don't actually you know what I was going to say. It's going to decrease the amount of like a how much a badged up card is going to go for, but it won't. Uh, whoever gets that 4,000 cards first and slaps them all on a player uh, we'll likely have the highest grossing card in my team. If somebody takes all 80 of those Hoff badges, or at least a majority of them, and puts them on one card, um, especially like a hot ticket card, yeah, we could see the MT barrier actually be broken. It's not good. Um, yeah, no, not good. <laughs> not good. And they're basically saying like, hey, dude, if you have any glitched NBA 75 and Power Within cards, you could juice them up to the sky. Not good. Dark Matter Rewards. Now, let's get into the Dark Matter Rewards. This is where the meat and potatoes is, for lack of a better term. I don't know if anybody else says that. It sounds like a Midwest thing. I don't know. Let me know if you hear that where you're from. Back to Zero Gravity Season 6. Level 40 reward in my team is a rookie, Josh Giddy. Now, this is actually less surprising than you would realize because they did do Luca last year, but Luca has been in the league for a couple years. So it's actually kind of surprising they did a rookie here. Giddy's nice, though. I mean, obviously, everybody loved his Amethyst. So I'm going to grind for this card. This all but... I've seen a lot of people say it today, so I'm not going to take credit for saying this or anything. But shout out to Wildmont. Shout out to everybody else I've seen saying this. Josh Giddy essentially seals the fact that we're getting a three-point shooting uh, Ben Simmons at some point in packs. Like, and I would be willing to agree with that sentiment. I feel like 2K wouldn't give us an, o, like an OP 6'8 point guard if they weren't about to release like 15, six foot eight and over point guards during this season. So Giddy's going to be fantastic, but I, I see Giddy in the same vein that we got Shea Gilgis Alexander a couple seasons ago. Like he came out and everyone thought he was going to be really good, which not saying Giddy's not going to be good, but there was just so many other options at that time that no one really used him. Now, is that going to be the case with Giddy? Possibly a more recent example would be Ray Allen. Ray Allen, I believe, is incredible. Like, he's a really, really good shooting guard, and you see almost no one run him just because there's so many good two guards out there. So, I don't know. So, Beyond Giddy looked at these new Dark Matter reward cards throughout my team season six. Giddy is a 6A guard. I mean, he'll be good. Yeah, for sure. I don't know what his jump shot is. I'll have to check it out. Unlimited, Bob Nidolicki. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. All right. Six foot nine power forward center. I would assume he plays power forward, small forward, similar to Cincinnati's Powell, I would guess. And uh, look at this, dude. You already know this guy is going to hoop straight up. Look at this man. Look at this guy. You already know he's about to be a monster, dude. 
Straight up, no, there's no way 2K doesn't turn this guy into the most demonic card in the game. There's absolutely no way. I would be willing to say that he's going to be an AK-47 clone. Straight away, he's going to be locked down defense. He's going to shoot, probably have base 98 on quick or very quick or something, be able to dribble. This card's going to be stupid. I mean, yeah, I, I would be willing to say he's probably going to be an AK clone. 2K, when they bring new cards into the game, all they ever do is make them clones of cards that are already popular. You know, we've seen this time and time again. Terry Dissinger was just a shooting guard Rudy clone last year. Um, Tony Kukoc, they just turned into Ray Allen. Like, they just turn players into other players, realistically. Whether that just be through jump shot, dribble move, or just play style. Right? So I would assume that they turn Bob Nedelicki, or whatever his name is, into essentially like an upgraded AK-47. That would be my call now. They could give him base three and make him super overpowered. I personally just think they're going to give him base 98 with uh, AKs up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at my man shooting the sky hook right here. Look at this drip, God. Ooh, ooh, finger rolls. Yeah. Oh, man, my man's hooping at high socks and Adidas low top superstars. You know he's a god straight up. Next up, we got James Worthy, which I'm interested in James Worthy as well. So looking at James Worthy this year, he was pretty good. Like his pink diamond was way better than people gave him credit for. He just came out at a weird time. That was the only issue here. And he was missing some badges, but jump shot 22. I think that's a pretty good release personally, especially if it's on quick or very quick. And I mean, they'll probably soup his dribble moves up a little bit. I would assume, but I mean, at the same time, he's six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan. James worthy has got an elite player build. We all know that. He's going to be fire. I would assume he has like limitless on gold or something. Probably doesn't have chef. That's probably what he doesn't have. But if he has like dead eye corner specialist, like, yeah, he's going to be fantastic straight up. I mean, look at the pink diamond one. I mean, look at his stats. His stats were all above 80 at the time. Aside from ball handle, like this card was nasty when he came out in January. You know what I mean? So I would assume that James Worthy is going to be fire straight up. I do. I, I believe he's going to be heat. Albert King. Okay interesting so wait is he the he's the wheel i would assume no not albert king batman <laughs> all right albert king i don't know who this guy is but is he related to bernard king i mean his last name is king that's kind of common but yeah i that's steve francis i, I just don't know why he's in here yeah albert king nba looks like some nets guard um i mean yeah He's got the smooth finger roll, got a little high top action going on. Yeah, I mean, he looks like every basketball player in the 1980s, like the early 80s, but he looks good. Like, I'm sure he's going to be fine. What's his What's his player build? What are we looking at here? What's my man looking like? What's the height? What's the height here? What we got, there we go, Albert King Wikipedia. Absolutely, six foot six. Okay, he's probably going to play the two guard and the small forward. Yep, small forward shooting guard. Yeah, I mean, he'll be good. I don't know what they're going to do to him. I bet they turn him into a Rudy clone. That's my that's my, that's my my shout. They turn him into a Rudy clone. Jerry Sloan. Yes, the Snatch God. What is, what is Jerry Sloan? He's the Ascension? Okay, I need him. Absolutely. Dark Matter Jerry Sloan? Oh, yeah. Y'all don't know about Jerry Sloan. Shout out to my people who used Opal Jerry Sloan last year. He was incredible. Like He's 6'5 with a 6'8 wingspan, but I swear to God, he's the only guy under 6'7 that gets snatch blocks in this game. He's ridiculous. Like It's stupid. Base 40 is what his jump shot is. I would assume they're going to keep it the same, probably just put it on quick or very quick. I personally like the release a lot. You know, it's Rick Hamilton, Gary Payton, Jeremy Lin. A few guys that I use, so I'm pretty stoked on uh, Jerry Sloan. Yeah, I want Jerry Sloan. He needs to make it to the white guy team. All right. Triple Threat Vault, Richard Dumas. Very interesting. Okay. I'll be honest. I did not expect that. So if you guys remember Dumas from last year, I'm sure most of you do. They essentially make Dumas Charles Barkley, basically, is what they do to him. So, <clears throat> yeah, he's six foot seven with a seven four wingspan. Last year, he had Paul George base on very quick. Yeah, this card's going to be fantastic. He was one of the best budget cards in the game when he came out, and I would expect that to remain the same, dude. Sick. I'm super hyped about Richard Dumas. That could not be tighter. Uh, shout out to Richard Dumas, too. I'm pretty sure Richard Dumas was like had some uh, substance problems, if I'm not mistaken here. I believe he did. Yeah, shout out to him, dude. 
I didn't even realize he was on the Suns too with Barkley. Hilarious. Uh, yeah. Okay. Immediately, my man got suspended for violating the substance abuse policy. Okay. Dumas played in Israel. Dope during his suspension. <laughs> he got 19 games. Sick, dude. He, he 15 points, four rebounds. My man was nice, dude. Helping the team to lead best. He was in the finals. He got dumped on by Jordan too. Shout out to Dumas, bro. Uh, following a stint in rehab. Oh, no. No. See, he just never was the same anymore. No. Oh, see, that's not good. He was balling in Poland, though, from what I understand. The Westchester Wildfire. Okay, that's a terrible game. Don't, you shouldn't do that. Anyways, Dumas is going to be really good. Bradley Beal on triple threat offline. Are they going to let my man play point guard this time? I guess only time will tell. I would assume they let him play point guard this time. And if that's the case, he might be pretty fun. Um, the reason I say that is he's got really good SIGs. Like, he's not the greatest card in the world. But Ray Allen based on quick, you know, he's got slasher dribble style. They'll probably change that. I would assume they give him quick dribble style or something. He'll just turn into Damian Lillard with Ray Allen base, which is very acceptable. Like, he's got a 6'8 wingspan, too. So, like, Bradley Beal might be small, but he can move. And he can, like, get in the way of things. My team draft, Mac Calvin. Oh, good Lord. Who is this guy? All right. Oh, I really hope he has this player build. Am I fat shaming right now? I might be. <laughs> I might be. Look at my man, dude. Look at the fro. Please tell me he has the fro. Oh, that's awesome. He's an ABA legend. Okay, I'm really happy that they're putting a bunch of ABA guys in here. Uh, first off, uh, can we get Bob Verga? Who is Bob Verga? Can we get Bob Verga in the game? Who is this guy? Who the fuck is Bob Verga? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Forget about Matt Calvin. By the way, I have no idea what they're going to do for him. Like, as far as, like, what they're going to make him. I don't know. He could be realistically anyone. Where's my boy Bob Verga at? Oh, of course he went to Duke. Oh, my God. He's the original Duke. Oh, no, dude. Oh, no, of course he went to Duke. All right, how big? Six foot one. Oh, no. <laughs> He's the original Duke guy. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, Matt Calvin's probably going to suck. Then we got Dikembe. Here's the thing I've always said, though. Here's the thing. I've talked about it a lot. Once they make a glitched version of a card, when they release cards that are a higher gem tier, they typically make them at least do the thing that they could. So I would assume that he at least has an 83 three-pointer. Let's just write that off, off the rip. I would assume catch and shoot, corner specialist, set shooter, volume shooter are all off still on Dikembe. Um, really, the only thing that's going to be changed here is he's probably going to have like gold sniper. I don't think he has limitless spot up or chef. I would say that I don't think he has either of those, but I could be wrong. Um, set shot 17 is horrible, but I will use it when it comes to Dikembe. Um, it's not that bad on Ralph Sampson, so I'm hoping for... A little bit better Dikembe is going to be fantastic like especially for my no money spent people out there this is a top tier center that you can you can pick up a good person to look at would be like the eric snow evo that's actually a good evo to look at or not the evo but the dynamic duo just because it gives him all these hoff defensive badges which i assume he has you know he's going to have clamps brick wall box rim protector rebound chaser intimidator knowing 2k they're going to drop this card and then drop a much better center i don't know who that's going to be we already got Kareem and Hakeem and all them. So I'm not sure who the better center would be. Probably a shooting Shaq, I would guess. Uh, yeah, they could glitch Shaq, which for... Yeah, that would... I don't know. Shaq's jump shot's not terrible this year. So, I don't know. Dikembe's going to be really good. Um, I don't think it's going to be like this Dikembe, though. Like, I would temper your expectations. I don't think we're getting our warped reality Dikembe. You know what I mean? With jump shot four... And uh, 94 shot three. Like, I don't think that's the Dikembe we're getting. I wish that was the case, but I definitely don't think that's happening. I mean, this card didn't come out that long in the future, right? Like, May 24th. It's April 6th right now. Still kind of cool. I w I'm excited, though. Dikembe, I didn't like him earlier this year because I just don't like set shot 17. But uh, objectively, he was the best center in the game for quite a long time. So it's not the worst thing in the world. And for tokens, yeah, I'm a cop for the tokens, 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Glad I sold that uh, David Robinson for 100K last night while I had a chance. It was a non-signature, all right? 
You may have noticed that no player was listed for Zero Gravity's limited reward for collecting all six rings. I didn't, actually, but now, now I do. Thank you for piquing my interest. <clears throat> We've heard the community's feedback on the players chosen for the limited rewards this year, and for Season 6, we want to bring you into the decision-making process for this Dark Matter player. All right. <clears throat> Number one, the community mainly said that they just wanted you to update the cards at the end of the season. I like where you're going with this, but okay, that's a, this is a little much. <clears throat> you're going a little above and beyond. In a couple of weeks, we will hold polls to help decide the player, so be on the lookout for more details on our official Twitter Oh my god, they're doing polls. All right, this is kind of cool, but uh, it's gonna make limited an absolute raging sweat fest every single weekend. Oh, also, one more thing the limited reward player will not be a part of the beyond level 40 this season, so that's annoying. So it's not gonna be part of it, okay? Yeah, I don't, I kind of hate that because now I actually have to like play limited and not get the Hoth badge. That was really nice. I was doing that for the last couple seasons, I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be cool. It just depends who they pick. Um, expect every content creator to make like 5,000 videos on the voting process, which is going to be really annoying to fill up my YouTube timeline. I will not do that. I will make one singular video talking about it, and then you will not hear me talk about it again until it comes. Not hating on anyone specifically. I just like, I can't talk about the same thing that long. I barely can talk about my team as much as I do. Like, uh, it's, I'm interested to see what's up with the option pack though. That's kind of my thing though. Cause like, all right. So for sure it's going to have Jerry Sloan, Matt Calvin, Jerry Sloan and Matt Calvin are for sure going to be in there. Um, there's five players in the pack. I would assume, unless they're just going to go straight four, and it's going to be Jerry Sloan, Matt Calvin, and the last two triple threat guys. Like, that would be cool, I guess. It'd be nice to see a six, like, player choice pack, so you could actually pick Richard Dumas and Bradley Beal if you wanted to, hypothetically speaking. I don't think many people would pick them, but it'd be nice to see. I would really like Richard Dumas, but I have yet to get, like, anything from the vault except for John Wall, like, that one time, and that's when he was, like, 40K, so I didn't even need him. You know what I mean? So I'm not really stoked about it. Overall, how do I feel about the season? I like it. I like Josh Giddy as a reward. It does give the people who grind level 40 and the no money spent guys like a very elite point guard option. I like that a lot. That's really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of that particularly. I like that. And Giddy is good this year. Uh, Bob Nedelicki. I mean, it's just another souped up white guy. I'm never going to get him because I'm not playing that much unlimited. So it's cool. James Worthy is pretty cool. I'll actually try to grind clutch time for James Worthy because I like James Worthy for sure. Albert King in theory sounds cool i'll never get them because i still haven't gotten a single wheel spin card so you know i want my boy jerry sloan really bad but i'm not willing to uh use my uh option pack on jerry sloan at this moment so i'm just gonna hope to ascension like pick him up via ascension richard dumas yeah i want richard dumas but yeah we'll see Bradley Beal, I'm not going to play for Bradley Beal. I might play Triple Threat online because I feel like no one else is going to play it because no one cares about Bradley Beal. But, you know, Matt Calvin, yeah, I'm not playing draft mode unless I'm required to do so. Dikembe, I'll have him on Friday. I'll let you guys know what I think. As always, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes. I don't know why I did prayer hands right there. I don't know why I'm sending one up to the Lord. Anyways, I'll be back with more content tomorrow. You know they're going to leak whatever it is they're doing. I'm going to stream MLB The Show possibly tomorrow, uh, but definitely this weekend. I've been having a lot of fun with it the last 24 hours. I highly recommend going to pick it up. Um, I am going to start uploading again on the second channel. I'm going to drop a couple MLB The Show videos on this channel just to show you what's going on. It's not specifically an MLB The Show channel over there. I'm going to drop a whole bunch of random stuff over there. Um, so I haven't been paying attention to it at all, but I'm going to start uploading more sporadically like a couple times a week over there. So, you know, you want to go check out the Cheaper Ludes channel, you can do that. Drop a like on this video and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go relax with my kittens now. Peace.